Okay, hi there. Here's a chance to look at another uh, past exam multiple choice question. This time it's a year one macroeconomics and the topic is injections and leakages or injections and withdrawals and the equilibrium level of GDP. So the crucial thing, point here is to think about the circular flow of income and the injections into that uh, relative to the size of leakages or withdrawals from the circular flow. Here's the question. The table refers to an open economy with a government sector. An open economy, of course, trades. So we're considering exports and imports. We have a government sector which taxes and spends. The question is in which situation is the economy in disequilibrium? Disequilibrium. Okay, well, have a go. Press the pause button. When you're ready, come back to me. I'll be with you with the right answer and we'll go through the answer together. So in which situation is the economy in disequilibrium? Let's take a moment to think about this idea from the circular flow, that if one thinks about the basic circular flow between consumers and, and businesses, there are three ways that money leaves the circular flow. They're called leakages and withdrawals, savings, imports and tax, and three additional injections of aggregate demand other than consumption, investment spending, exports of goods and services, and government spending. And the question, of course, talks about there being an open economy uh, with the government sector. So we need to consider all three leakages and all three injections. So uh, what do we think? Well, we're looking for disequilibrium. Therefore, we're looking for a situation which is counter to the equilibrium, which is where injections equals leakages. From the table, we can calculate or we can work out that the level of injections, the total value of injections, into the circular flow remains constant at 420. I plus G plus X gives 420. So we're looking for a level of leakages which is different to 420. And the three leakages are savings, tax and imports. Add them together. So we ignore consumption. If we do that, we find, if we accumulate savings, imports and tax, we find that option A is where leakages are 380, whereas for the other options, B, C and D, total leakages are indeed equal to 420, which of course is an equilibrium concept. So the right answer to this question is A, it's a disequilibrium, injections are greater than leakages. Quick bit of revision, when the rate of injection to the surrogate flow is higher than leakages, the national income will expand. Conversely, when leakages are greater than injections, there's more money leaving the circular flow than is coming in. Other things being the same, national income will contract. The economy may suffer a slowdown or perhaps even a recession. Okay, that was that question on leakages and injections in the circular flow.